Hola! This is a tutorial that teaches you how to add accents to your work. So, as we've been learning Spanish, we've noticed that unlike English, in Spanish, sometimes words have little lines on top of the letters. They're called accents, or the posh word, diacritical marks. And, <clears throat> excuse me, they're often on top of vowels and also on the letter N sometimes. So if you look at the picture here, we've got an accent on the word adios on the O and on the word buenos dias on the letter I. But how do you do that on your mobile device or on your computer? I'm going to tell you now. So, first of all, mobile devices like iPads or iPhones. So, if we want to add accents to our words on a mobile device, so an iPad or an iPhone, this is how you do it on your iPad or your iPhone. You just type the word like you normally would. So, let's think of a word. Let's write the word España, the word for Spain. So, I want E, okay, S. P, A, and then I need the N, and it's got that accent at the top of it. Right, so if I just put my finger on the letter N on my keyboard and hold it down, can you see, if I zoom in a little bit, you get some accent, the letters with the accent on pop up. Now, if I slide my finger onto the one I want, oops, I take my finger off it again. Okay, put it back on again. There they've popped up. If I slide my finger onto the one I want, which is the one with the squiggle, can you see it's now appeared in my writing? Okay. So there we've written the word España. Now let's, oh, it's changed it to Espanol. That's okay. That means Spanish. Right. Let's try another word. Um, let's write the word Dias, as in Buenos Dias. So if I just type Buenos Dias, Buenos and then we need, there's cheers, then we need Dias. So I want D, and then it's got the accent on the I. So if I put my finger on the I and hold it down, look, there's lots of options for that. The one you need is the second one along on the bottom row, that one there. Now, if I let go now, look, it pops up in my writing and I can finish the word. Let's think of a word that has got an E with an accent on it. Um, ooh, Ketal. So we want Q, U, and then we need the letter E with an accent. So there's my E, put my finger on it, hold it down. And the one we want is this one here. Okay, let go. And it pops up in my writing. Now, Kital is a question. Okay. Oops. Kital is a question. So we know that in Spanish... Our question words have the question mark at the end. So I'll put that in now. But they also have a question mark. So if I want to have my question mark at the beginning, if I put my finger onto the question mark button just here, can you see it's popped up? So I'm going to slide my finger across and there it is. It's appeared. We've got our question mark at the beginning and our question mark at the end because they work like speech marks. One is the opposite way up. So just like 66.99, we've got our question marks. The same if I wanted to say hello, hola. I need my exclamation mark at the end, but I also need one at the beginning. So again, I go to my keyboard. I put my finger on my exclamation mark. And up pops the one that goes at the beginning. And there it is. OK. So now here are the instructions if you're using a laptop. So if you're using a laptop to do your accents, you need to, first of all, make sure that your number lock is on. And your number lock is on the right hand side of your keyboard. It's this button here. OK, you need to make sure that it's on. Some keyboards have a little light 
and if the little light's on that means the number lock's on sometimes it comes up on your screen that you've a like, little um, padlock that shows that you have got your number lock on okay you'll know if you have or not when we start trying to put our accents in right you also need to find on your laptop where the alt button is the alt button and that's back over this side there's the space bar there is your alt button just there okay in order to put your accents in you need to have your finger on that button all the time okay when you want to put your accent in so you hold down that button and then there are some codes that you're going to put in using the number keyboard over this side okay so on the screen at the moment i have the word hola so i want to put an exclamation mark at the end of that that's not too difficult i can do that with normally like that but i want the one at the beginning as well so let me put my cursor in the right place okay so there we have the word hola but we need our exclamation mark at the beginning as well so if i go to my keyboard and I put my finger on the Alt key, hold it down, and I type one, seven, three. And you can see that my exclamation mark at the beginning has appeared. Okay, let's do the same with a question. So this time we want to write ke tal. Okay, so our upside down question mark at the beginning, we're going to do exactly the same thing, but this time we're going to use the code one, six, eight. So I'm going to put my finger on the Alt button, hold it down. One, six, eight. And oh, it decided to appear in the wrong place, but never mind. Let's do it there. Right. Then we're going to keep typing. We're going to go K. And then we need an accent on the letter E. So I'm going to again hold down the Alt key. And this time, I'm going to type in one, three, O. Oh. And there, K has appeared. Okay, and then I can carry on typing exactly as I would normally. K, tell. And then I want my question mark. There we are. Now, each letter that has an accent has a different code to go with it. Okay. And I'm going to share a picture now of the codes that you need to use. So I hope that helped you. And when you submit some work now in Spanish, you'll all be able to put the accents in them properly. Hasta luego!